This was the spirit of camaraderie seen at the Swapo Party headquarters where the three party organs held their joint media conference. As the party's sixth extraordinary congress approaches, its structures are making their position known as to who their preferred candidates are. The Swapo Party Youth League, Swapo Party Women's Council and the Swapo Party Elders Council are behind the acting president, Hage Gengob, and his other three proposed candidates. Netumbo Nandindaitwa for vice president, Sophia Shaningwa for secretary general and Marco Hausiku as deputy secretary general. We are calling on all our delegates to the 6th Swapo Party Congress to support and vote for only one president for the party and for the country. That is His Excellency Comrade Hage Genikop and his, and, his, and his identified team which he can work with. Ipinge described this as a true reflection of inner party democracy. She calls on delegates to elect Dr. Gengop for the party presidency and this should be done in a mature manner that will strengthen inner party unity. The three organs further denounced the proposal by some party members for the state and party presidency to be held by two different leaders, saying such two centers of power will destroy the party. We only have one master at a time, but not to have two centers of power because we don't know how we are going to operate. So we want to follow the principles of the party that has been left by our founding president, the former president. So there was no two centers of power. Comrade Nuyoma gave it to Pamba, and Comrade Pamba gave it to Hage. And we should give it to Hage because he never ruled even five times as a president of the party. The Swapo party will elect leaders for the top four positions during the upcoming Congress slated for November. President Gengop also arrived at the party headquarters after the meeting where he was greeted by these joyous party members. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.